Hi, today I will cover uh, remote facade uh, design pattern. This remote facade design pattern belongs to uh, distribution patterns and uh, this distribution patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, we will see the explanation of uh, remote facade uh, design pattern. This is the explanation. Provides a coarse grained facade on fine grade objects to improve efficiency over a network. So here you can see client and uh, this is coarse grained uh, address facade and it has uh, two method uh, get address data and uh, set address data with uh, parameters like uh, street, uh, city and zip and this is a uh, fine grained uh, address object and uh, this fine grained uh, address object contains uh, getter method uh, uh, to get uh, street, uh, city, zip and uh, it has also uh, setter method to set uh, street, city and zip okay and say uh, suppose say uh, client make uh, call to the address facade to get the address data so what this address facade will do is it will span uh, multiple requests to the address domain object to get the city state and zip information and once it gets uh, the city state and zip information what this address facade will do is it will formulate that address information and send it back to the client okay suppose this address facade is not there uh, the client has to make multiple call to uh, the server to get the address information so this uh, in this case we have to just call the address facade then uh, address facade uh, is responsible for uh, getting all the value from the domain object and uh, formulate those values and send it back to the client okay suppose uh, client want to set the address uh, information then uh, client has to make a call to this set address uh, method uh, by passing street uh, city and zip then this method will in turn call uh, uh, setter method of uh, address uh, like uh, set street uh, set city set zip and set those values okay and uh, this uh, remote facade uh, contains no domain logic usually uh, this uh, remote facade uh, this class no uh, in that we won't write any business logic and uh, third point is uh, remote facade work along with uh, uh, data transfer object so uh, usually this uh, remote facade work along with uh, DTO uh, DTO DTO is nothing but data transfer object uh, I have created a separate video for uh, data transfer object uh, design pattern. Uh, please log into my channel and uh, watch uh, data transfer object uh, design pattern so that you will understand what is data transfer object uh, and how we can use the data transfer object in a remote facade uh, design pattern. Okay. So if you uh, so here if you see this one how we can. Uh, use uh, DTO in remote facade is like this okay so uh, when client make calls to the address facade uh, then uh, what address facade will do is uh, address facade will use uh, address assembler or mapper uh, the, what this mapper will do is uh, it will uh, uh, it will read address domain information and formulate address uh, DTO that address DTO will send back to the client okay so this is how a remote facade uh, can work with the data transfer object um, and uh, this is about uh, remote facade uh, design pattern and uh, thanks for watching bye